333 Crypto. As always, I'm doing my daily DeFi and crypto update. Please understand everything I say is hypothetical and speculation. I am not a financial advisor, so please make no financial decisions based upon anything I say. All right, folks, the market, the market, the market, the market. How does the market look? Well, the market looks, um, I think it looks really, really, really solid. Um, we got Bitcoin at 61K, 61,016,46. Um, if you remember, we had this high here earlier this week. Right here, right here, we had an all-time high of $67,276. If you go back on the 14-day, um, I think we're going to hit 70000 here pretty soon, folks. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of this is, a. I mean, heck, it's all guesswork, right? I, like I told you, I don't give financial advice. It's all speculation. Um, but I think we go to 67, 68, and then to 70. I mean, obviously, it needs to be in order. But uh, you know what I mean. I think we're going to see 70 pretty quick. Um, I think this little tri retracement is more of a um, accumulation phase. Uh, I really think it's going to be really crazy between now and May of next year. Um, that's just how I see it, people. That's just how I see it. So now Ethereum, I told you at 3K, it was going to hit 4K and then it's going to run to 5. I still see that happening um, and I'm fairly confident about it. And I, I too agree that this should happen rather quickly. Um, Ethereum, I mean, there's just, you know, we over and over and over and over, we discuss the use cases for Ethereum. Um, and, and it's just the potential, you know, what they've got their hands into, DeFi, um, you know, DeFi, um, all that great stuff like uh, DeFi. <laughs> Sorry, folks, you get the point, right? DeFi is the future. You know, I, I was I was looking around earlier and, you know, I just always have come across these. Yeah, DeFi is going to get regulated. DeFi is going to get banned. I've told you over and over and over. That's what they tell you when they want your tokens, okay? You know, I was also reading how big banks are looking at a couple a couple key players, right? And 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 it's a big YouTuber that made a video. He's one of my favorites. I don't mention other YouTubers' names, but he's really good. But, you know, he was talking, he, he was uh, referencing an article. It wasn't his opinion as much as refer referencing an article. And he was saying that the big dogs are looking at Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin Cash, I believe, Um what was the other one? Uh, Litecoin. Um, and then there was one other last one, but I don't remember off the top of my head. But, you know, I get Bitcoin. Um, but, you know, folks, honestly, none of those things other than Bitcoin compared to DeFi. And the bankers, they drool over DeFi. They drool over a 7% interest rate or a 10% interest rate or anything above that. And with all of the protocols we talk about, you can stake and get those kind of rates day in and day out. And if you're really slick, you can get 100% or 150, 150% on your money or even 200% if you stake early and farm your tokens. Now, we focus on farming tokens. Um, and again, I don't give financial advice. Um, you know, we're just kind of, I talk through with you what I think. And, and we talk about tokens and we try to find them at a cheap price and we try to ride those up. Now, I have a new token I will be releasing either Saturday or Sunday. Um, we're, we're trying to focus on these smaller cap tokens because we want the big gains like we had originally with all of the big DeFi dogs when they first came out. Um, and that's what we're looking for again. You know, I always like to look back, folks, um, because, gosh, it was beautiful when we were getting, you know, tokens like Maker. Uh, for nothing. Uh, you know, go back on Maker here. I remember when this token was $500, 300, um, you know, $300. I think, yeah, it was $300 at one time. Or, yep, 332 There it was. And now we're at twenty-five, twenty-four. I still think Maker is a $10,000 token, ultimately, um, just because of what it does. But it was one of the original big DeFi players, and uh, Maker um, has a lot of competition now, and, and that is the stuff that we are chasing. We are chasing the future makers, the future synthetics, the future urine finances. Um, so that's what we're doing, and I have a couple, a good one to share with you this weekend, hopefully. If I can't get it out to you this weekend, I'll let you know, but we are certainly looking for the future big dog protocols. Now, don't forget, folks, this market is very manipulated. I just, I just almost had the laugh when I read this article. It says, Binance US blames customers buggy algorithm for Bitcoin shocking 87% flash crash. Now, if you weren't paying attention, uh, and you might not have been, 
Uh, listen here, Binance US experienced a Bitcoin flash crash on Thursday. The event saw Bitcoin plummet momentarily from a high of $65,815 to a low of $8,200. Now, folks, they acted like, oh, it was a client's bug, it was a mistake. No, they crashed that to collect on every button, you know, and, and what's sad here is there was probably some average Joe, a regular person like you or I, who probably, you know, unfortunately used a little leverage and was trading Bitcoin. And when that crashed, um, he went into liquidation and he lost his money. And they liquidated those poor guys all the way down to 8,200 folks. And then they're just going to blame it on a little bug. That was purposeful. That was manipulative. And that's what centralized exchange, centralized exchanges do, folks. Um, and they probably caught people outside of their exchange potentially because of that price drop too. But that's cheating, folks. That's a dirty pool. That's just not right. Um, I don't care what anyone says. And it wasn't a bug. They were in cahoots with somebody. It was purposeful. It, 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 no doubt about it was absolutely done uh, intentionally. And that's just not right. It says, the firm says a bug in a customer's trading algorithm prompted the sell-off. The customer resolved the glitch and Bitcoin recovered rapidly. Yeah, they resolved the glitch and they stole everybody's money on the way down um, and the way up. So uh, just just not nice, just not nice. Now, um, I could be wrong on that. I could be right, but I just don't agree with that. I, I, I don't think that was accidental. So, um, you know, folks, you just can't forget that, you know, this is the future, Right here, Walmart installs Bitcoin ATMs in 200 of its stores across the U.S. Um, the day will come where you check out and you use uh, something on the blockchain to buy and sell. It'll probably be a tokenized U.S. dollar. Um, you know, we have USDC, but there'll probably be some government-backed, uh, fully sanctioned form of a dollar. And, and you're going to see it. But, you know, I'm not in a hurry for that to happen. I'm not in a hurry for that to happen. I like the space as is. I'm enjoying uh, the crypto community and the DeFi community. And the quicker the bankers and, and folks get in here, the more manipulation we're going to see, like that manipulation with the, with the price drop um, to 8700 for Bitcoin on Binance. Because that's what they do. They don't play fair. They don't realize that if they played fair, they would find more success than they do cheating. But they love to cheat. Cheaters cheat. But you know what? Cheaters never win. Cheaters never win. So folks, if you do nothing well in life, at least have honesty and integrity and you will find more riches than the richest man uh, when it comes to money, money, money. So anyway, I found those two articles interesting and I thought I'd share them with you. Break. Wow. Sorry, I had to break there. I had to sneeze. <laughs> it's not not polite to sneeze uh, on your on your channel. But anyway, folks, so we're going to switch over here to DeFi Llama. Um, I want you all to pay attention Again, to you know, I've always been an Ethereum madman, and I always will be. But I'm starting to pay attention to some of these side chains and, and other chains, comp competing chains, uh, layer two protocols. There's just really a lot going on here. I've been paying a lot of attention to Phantom lately. I've been paying a lot of attention to Arbitrum. Um, these tokens are pretty solid. They're pretty safe. Um, Arbitrum doesn't have a token yet, and I believe if you were to go over and and trade on layer two or deposit on layer two that you one day might get a, 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 a an airdrop or something of Arbitrum tokens. Now, that's purely my hypothesis. That's, that is truly a speculation. So don't, that's not set in stone. But I'm thinking that's a possibility with that. But, you know, look at the money here. Ethereum really is the leader with 157.7 billion. But look at Solana, 12.7 billion. Polygon, 4.6 billion. Phantom, 4.37 billion. Um, Avalanche is solid at 7.62 billion. Um, Terra uh, here at 10 billion, and Arbitrum at 2 billion. So these little side chains, these alternative uh, chains, we just we just need to pay attention to these. There's really a lot of opportunity there, uh, so we're going to focus on that stuff, no doubt about it. So um, you know, DeFi is not going away, and we are early. We are early. We are early now. Solana is a chain where there's some uh, activity going on that interests me when it comes to DeFi. And that's another one we're going to look at right here. And Solana's had a run if you're a Solana token holder. Look at this if you go back to Max. Um, this thing was a dollar for a long time, and now it's $195.94. Now, we're not going to buy up here. We're going to find the next Solana in DeFi, 
and we're going to get it for a dollar or two. And I'm telling you, folks, I have said it over and over, this 100 Finance Protocol, this is the next one to pop like that. We found this at about $1.50, $1.35, um, and it's at $2.10. But when I brought this video to you just five or six days ago, there was only $17 million locked up in the protocol. Now, folks, we're at $33,741,000, give or take a few. That's $33,741,000, give or take a few. So in less than a week, we've almost doubled um, the total value locked in this protocol. And why is that value going there? Well, if you want to move your money over here okay, to Arbitrum, one of the best places to put that money in, in the form of a stable coin is over there, uh, you know, bring it right over here and stake it in 100 Finance. And that's why if you look here, this, this one week, uh, or actually we'll go all time here, look at the valuation here. The money, 9 million total value locked and now we're at 34 million folks. 34 million. Well, 33,782,000. So, and no, I didn't plan the 33 million. That too was a coincidence. Um, you just got to wonder sometimes, if, you know, when God or the universe is smiling on you uh, because 33 is my lucky number, right? That's the name, crypto, 333 crypto, 333 crypto. So we're going to pay a lot of attention to these. And I only bring 100 up to you again because I'm telling you, it's a good one, and I'm going to be moving on soon uh, to a better one. Well, not better. Actually, I don't think the next one or two I'm bringing you are better than 100, but they're different, right? Something can be beautiful and good and not necessarily the same as something else. So they're different and, and good in a different way. So pay attention here to 100 Finance, folks. Um, this one here, could this, this one's going to 10 easily, and I think it can go to $30 right here. Numbers say it all. This is they, them posting it. Thirty million dollars. Thirty million. See, it's gone up since um they posted this fifteen hours ago. It's now at thirty-three million. So thirty million one hundred fifty-three uh, thou, uh, thousand, give or take a few, and now it's at thirty-three million just since they posted that. Um, and then you know the total borrow on it is four point two six million. That's growth, folks. Matter of fact. Um, before I made the video, I had an idea as to what was going on there. But now that I'm making the video, the, the growth is even more impressive than I thought. So this is good stuff, folks. I, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, knock, you know, go over and over and over. But if I'm sharing something with you over and over and over, it's because I think it's good. And I think you should check it out and learn more about it. So that is what's going on, folks. Um, Polygon. Or Matic is another, uh, you know, another place to potentially look for some opportunities, and we're going to do that in the future too. Um, I saw a bit video on this Clima DAO. Um, I'm not a, a big fan of this one. It's interesting, um, but the only reason I bring it up is because someone asked me what I thought about it, um, and I do think it's solid. It's just not something that I personally uh, would be interested in. And, and that viewer had asked me, and I in response said I would look at it and I did. So oftentimes in the comments, y'all will ask me to look at protocols. I often do. Um, and I do appreciate you asking me. I do appreciate your input. I am here to serve. So anyway, folks, I'm not going to go on and on. God bless. Have a great day. Know that I appreciate you and I will see you tomorrow. And again, a new token this weekend. Bye.